Now for labs, or laboratory values. Starting with BMP, our basic metabolic panel. This is collected typically as a general survey of a patient when they come into the hospital for any reason. Sort of like a sampler platter at a restaurant. We get a lot of different tests and are able to see a wide variety of stuff. So for electrolytes, we have sodium, Na, which remember, sodium swells the body. We have K for potassium, so just think potassium pumps the heart muscles. And chloride, which no one really cares about to be honest, helps to maintain acid-base balance, which will break down all the main electrolytes in a moment. CO2 is carbon dioxide, which helps to maintain acid and base pH balance. I call it carbon diacid, since too much can put the body into an acidotic state. This area can also have HCO3, our bicarb, which also maintains pH balance, pushing the body into an alkalotic state. So just think base for bicarb. And we have the two kidney labs, BUN and creatinine. So just think two labs for two kidney functions. Now the biggest one here is creatinine. Usually if creatinine's high, then the kidneys have died. And if BUN only is elevated, then usually we have burned buns, or basically dehydration. Now glucose is our sugar reading. If it's really high, we have hyperglycemia, typically for clients with uncontrolled diabetes. Or if it's low in hypoglycemia, this one is very deadly, since the brain might die. Clients can slip into a diabetic coma here typically from missing a meal or having too much insulin in clients with diabetes. So just think hypogly, the brain might die. And there you have it, the good old BMP. We actually sing about this in our metabolic panel song on YouTube. It's a parody to the music video for Gangnam Style. So I'll play that segment right now. Too much solute in blood, lymph, and vascular spaces. Hemodilution, an indication of hydration. Increased fluids in blood and vascular spaces. Nursing students, you need to know your BMP. If you don't, start with sodium, potassium, or calcium. BUN, CO2, glucose, and creatinine. Metabolic panel. Now, as promised, here are the top electrolyte labs that you need to know for the NCLEX here. So, sodium 135 to 145. Remember the double S's of sodium. Sodium swells the body with fluid. So, with low sodium, we end up with low and slow signs and symptoms. Mental status change is a priority, as well as seizures and coma and respiratory arrest from low and slow respirations. And in high sodium, we get big and bloated since it swells the body with fluid. So we see edema, our swollen body, increased muscle tone, and flushed red and rosy skin signs. Now for potassium, this is 3.5 to 5.0. Now this is the number one electrolyte to know for the NCLEX and nursing exams. So just think of the three Ps of potassium. So potassium is priority since it pumps the muscles. So let's cover all the key points from our med surge video here. So just think high potassium, we have high pumps. So we get peak T waves and ST elevations for potassium over 5.0. And the exact opposite for low potassium is working. All right, that wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take your quiz and download the study guides. And also feel free to share the love, share with a classmate and even your instructor. See you guys in the next videos. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right guys, see you next time.